So our boat docked in Casamayo, Mexico. We took an hour ride um, guided tour to Bacalar, the Blue Lagoons, or Seven Lagoons, Seven Color Lagoons, I believe is the proper term. So we're gonna finish this tour off on a boat ride to see the lagoon and go from there. All right, well, there's not gonna be as much audio as I thought there was gonna be in this video clip because um, the wind was a lot crazier than I thought it was gonna be and the wind was blowing, so it was a lot of static. So I had to cut up a lot of sound, but pretty much the Seven Color Lagoon is pretty cool because no matter what part you go with, you're gonna go across different colors. Like the, you can see right now, it's really dark here because this part drops down like 80 feet and it just has like a random drop off. Like it, that's where the different colors come in from the different depths of the different parts of the lagoon. Um, so there are shallow parts where you can actually stand up and um, kids could get life jackets, but you see here, my dad was able to stand up perfectly fine in this section um, in this nice clear water. Um, we did see a few fish, not a lot, but there are like dramatic drop offs, which is kind of tense to kind of float over because you realize how deep it actually goes. So we are currently hanging out in the water of the of Bacala, the seven color lagoon. The water is a little chilly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but you know, once you're in it, nice and warm, the sand is soft, which is pretty cool. Plus I got water shoes on, so that probably doesn't help either. supposed to make your arm feel nice and soft. Now let me dip it in the water. Does it feel soft? Yeah. It does? Yeah. So the last night was the glow party and the cruise director Jody that you guys seen in the last video actually gave the kids gift baskets with um, these t-shirts on there as well as glowing and up markers to actually color the t-shirts. She also gave them lightest sunglasses and stuff like that for the party itself. Um, she worked on London for about an hour or so but as you can see here London wasn't feeling it because she doesn't really like to be up in front of people. but. After a while, after working on it, she finally got her to go up on stage. You know, Casey was having a time in his life, but just kind of seeing London up there was actually pretty cool because it was something that was outside of her comfort zone. Um, and she she made she made the event really special for us, so I really appreciated that. Um, even the next day, London even participated in a line dancing class and was able to help teach the class as well. So it was a good time. <laughs> 